Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. So this morning, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a three Mongolian basalt stone water feature, and we're going to do it in this lovely backyard. Look at nice sitting area. You can get a fire feature right here. Lovely backyard. No neighbors back there. We're going to set it up right here. So we're going to have three basalts varying heights have water coming out of the top of them cascading down into this basin that's going to get hidden we're going to put lights on it so they can enjoy this at night as well can see we've got the hole partially excavated now the original intent was to leave this a little bit above grade do a small retaining wall around it just as a little bit of extra interest I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that because of the distance between the patio and the size of this uh, feature here we're going to be really close we don't really want one hardscape of a retaining wall even though you know we use material maybe about that thick and stack it up we don't want that material laying on top of the patio itself now I might be able to take this um, reservoir basin and turn it so we have the flat side along here but we'll find out all right so talking with the homeowner we're gonna do the retaining wall and we found that the existing drainage pipe that's over here runs down here so I really can't go any deeper with the basin so we are going to be doing a retaining wall it's going to go right off this corner here it's going to just catch the corner along here this plant will be removed it's very aggressive grass ornamental grass growing we're going to take the retaining wall and go back over to here so what we've decided to do is turn the basin so that way we're not so close to the patio it only gives us a, a foot to put the retaining wall in anyways but that's going to make it help blend the retaining wall is going to give this space its own little entity the entire area will be raised raised up six maybe eight inches um, and that way um, it's a standalone area so it's a water feature it's a focal point we want the detail of that wall to show through and we're going to top the area off with Mexican pebbles so that way um, just enhances everything so to explain what this is this is the aqua basin 45 um, very sturdy material we put everything on top of this the Mongolian basalts will go on top our pl plumbing sits our pipe our pump and our piping go down in here there will be control valves in here this is a, a lid so everything is nicely buttoned up and sealed aquascapes does a really good job designing these things so we'll pop holes in here where we need the piping to come up through into our basalt stones we're going to have accent lighting in here so it will highlight the feature uh, at, during the nighttime so they don't only get a daytime water feature they'll also have a nighttime water feature as well so a little bit more digging I'm going to square this off and then we'll get this basin all set once the basin's set and leveled I'll bring the stones back once the stones are in we'll get the plumbing the piping and we'll get going all right here we go we've got the level or we've got the basin all leveled out front to back side to side everything's all compacted back in left enough room for a retaining wall and gonna start moving the stones in right now 
All right, so I got two of the Mongolian basalt stones in. Let me tell you, these things are not light for this old man. So here, these are two. Um, leave the small ones 18. This one's what, 24. And then we've got the tallest one that, you know what, I'm gonna wait for the crew to show up um, and they can help me. Oh, I see you. All right, so I bought, brought the muscle out here. We got Zach and Zach, and we just brought this larger stone here. So we're gonna put this in place and then um, I'll start running the plumbing. So we're running the uh, piping right now. Um, we're going to go with the three quarter inch now, switch it out if need be uh, to one inch. I don't want to have too much water because we have no room in here to do a bib liner for over splash. A bib liner would be a liner that would be outside of the basin itself and slope back down. But because we have a fixed point here with our patio, we don't have the option of going any higher with our um, with the surrounding soils. So we're, that's, we are going to be doing a retaining wall around here, as I mentioned, but we don't have the option of doing a bib liner. So we want to contain it, all this water and not have it splash over. And on our pump itself, let's see. so on our pump itself, we've got three ports that come out and each one has its own uh, ball valve, if you can see that. So we can adjust each one independently so we're, what we're going to be using is the uh, aqua surge aqua wait a second what is this pump called this is the ultra pump by aquascapes um, it's a mag driven pump so very de dependable and very durable so there's a three-year warranty on them did you get that one yeah okay so we're going to run the plumbing for the last one what Zach's doing is he cuts them a little high and then we'll we'll pull them back and then right around here we'll pull this down so it's just below the surface um, but when that water comes out of this hole it's going to want to uh, come down over the stone but if I don't seal this off right here right along this gap what will happen is the water will flow back down we want maximum water coming out of here so we'll, uh, one trick that we do is we use some uh, plumber's putty and that'll stick in here. We could use some uh, um, aquascape foam. I don't want to lose that pipe down the hole yet. Um, we leave them a little bit high for now. Um, so I'll leave these high and then, uh, yeah, push this back down, get some plumber's putty, put it around there, and it'll seal that up. So what Zach's trying to do is, he's, uh, this ends the front. Yep. Just trying not to hit the other one. These aren't lightweight. They're definitely not fiberglass. So these are gonna last a very long time here. They look a little wobbly now. They are. Once we get our basin stone in here and a couple shims in here. All right, so we got them all temporarily set up right now. Um, I'll make minor adjustments to them. Um, so I'm gonna hook up the plumbing, the rest of the plumbing to the manifold. I'm gonna add, um, add some water to this. Once I add the water, I'll test it and run it. And then I've got to make a run out, grab some plumber's putty, some foam, and we'll get the lights set up. Once all that's done, I'm going to make a run out, grab some, some of the Mexican pebbles for the topping, and then we'll let this run overnight. Tomorrow we'll come in, put this retaining wall in here, and should be good to go. All right. All right, so we've got water in the basin. We've got the plumbing all hooked up. I don't have it running on full blast, by all means. Um, so this is where I want to 
secure this sec secure this pipe it just got wet um, secure this pipe in here but then also put um, some plumber's putty around it so the water doesn't leak back down through the uh, the stone itself um, mostly on this one here this one I'm going to have to cut down on the piping itself because it's kind of hung up on the hole that we created and there's no wiggle room to push it back down so I will cut trim this pipe down to just below the stone here and then uh, foam it all up but you can see the, the more I hold that pipe in place um, the better our flow is going to be. Uh, I'll be back in two shakes of lamb's tail. All right, so we added plumber's putty around each one of the openings for the water to come through. Um, that's going to age with time, the color of it. We got some Mexican pebbles. We're not going to install them right now. The homeowners are going to check out the lighting tonight and see if we want to add a third light. We've got two right now. Just positioning they're going to move them around see if they want to add a third light she's going to be looking at options for we're thinking not doing a retaining wall and maybe something that just randomly placed boulders and then maybe some cobblestone um, washing through the boulders just a little bit very simplistic simple system to set up once you've got your basin in and it's level um, doing the plumbing is fairly easy and that's it um, your imagination's pretty much our limitation and what we can do just got to have the muscle to get these uh, larger stones in place so um, let's call it a wrap for today and we'll be back here tomorrow we'll finish it up all right so we just finished up and let me take you over to the space wouldn't you just love this bat in your own backyard nice raised patio, quaint little seating area, and now their own little water feature. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day.